Hey, it's Mike with TriMaster Swimming and Barry's Coaching. How do you overcome a fear of the open water? If you're going to stick around in the sport of triathlon, odds are eventually you're going to have to swim in the open water. And if you have a little bit of anxiety or tension behind uh, actually jumping in the open water, well, I'm going to share with you five considerations that might help you kind of address and overcome that fear. So number one is get some practice. And, and practice can start in the pool, okay? So get with a group or a coach or some folks and recreate open water scenarios, i.e. swimming with people around you in very close quarters, um, a lot of splashing, recreate a little bit of that chaos, okay, that occurs at, at the start of races. Pull out the lane lines if possible at your local pool and, um, and, and recreate that open space feeling. Okay, and then ideally, as you practice, get into the open water, search out, seek out any open water swim practice opportunities in your local area and take advantage of those. There's no substitute for that. Second is determine whether or not, uh, this sounds kind of, kind, of, kind of funny, but determine whether or not that fear is actually grounded in reality. Um, for example, you may say you have a fear of the open water, but Maybe it's something specific. You have a fear of sinking and, uh, and the race you're signed up for is actually a wetsuit legal swim. And if you're going to be wearing a wetsuit, there's absolutely no reason to be afraid of sinking. You, you really have to work at sinking in a wet, when you're wearing a wetsuit. Okay. Uh, another scenario might be a fear of the deep water. Okay. That's again, it's something we need to address. Okay. Whether it's uh, getting out there and practicing, getting comfortable just swimming in the deep end of the pool first, and then a couple open water practice sessions where you just gotta get out there and get comfortable being a little bit uncomfortable. Okay, but you will overcome it, okay? But try not to do this during times of stress, i.e. like don't let your first open water event be your very first open water swim. Next, number three is your pro a proper fitting wetsuit. Uh, if a wetsuit is very tight across the chest or maybe around the neck, this can just create some unneeded stress or anxiety. We can cut, kind of cut off the airway a little bit around the neck, a little extra tension around the, the chest creates some anxiety. So um, it's worth the investment of a good fitting wetsuit. Okay. Next, number four is breathing. The biggest mistake I see triathletes and open water swimmers make, especially at the start of an event or initially getting into the water is not exhaling. Okay. We end up getting caught up in the excitement of the, the start of the race and we're swimming, 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 and we're constant, we're breathing in, breathing in, but not exhaling, not getting all that carbon dioxide out of your system. Um, so this leads me to number five, which is have a mantra or something a little thing, a little saying in your mind that you, that keeps your mind occupied and focused. And at TriMaster Swimming, we combine a mantra with a breathing exercise called bubble, bubble, breathe. So you're going to swim breathing every three strokes, bilateral breathing, but you're going to speak the words bubble, bubble. And then when you turn your head, you're going to breathe in. So you're going to speak the words bubble into the water on each stroke. So you're going to say bubble, bubble, breathe, bubble, bubble, breathe, just like that. Now you don't say the word breathe out loud, right? You want to actually breathe in, but underwater speak the word bubble and you will by default be forcing yourself, forcing air out, getting that CO2 out of your system, making room for a nice, fresh breath of air every time you want to breathe. And then in your mind, you have that mantra kind of keeping you focused, especially at the start of those events. Okay. So I hope those things, those five things help you, uh, prepare for open water, overcome any kind of fear or anxiety that you have tied around open water and uh, just get, you just got to get out there and practice. Okay. So lastly, if you have any interest in, uh, our TriMaster swimming group swims or joining us for, uh, the season where we do actually create scenarios. Uh, we mimic those scenarios in open water, or we do have an op a weekly open water practice. Feel free to reach out to us. You can actually visit the, the Barry's Coaching uh, website. Just go to barryscoaching.com, click on the swimming tab, and you can read more about it there. 
And then we're also putting together a training group for a two mile open water swim that includes open water preparation, drills, and an entire training plan. And you can find that on the Try Swimming blog. Go to tryswimmingblog.com forward slash Indy Two Miler. And uh, you can read more about that training program. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the water. Take care, bye-bye.